He has a beard and he has a mustache. He looks like dressed up in white. He is very bright. He is Heavenly Father's son. Jesus is a brother. He'd sacrifice a lot. He tells us to care about other people. He'd like warn people about stuff like and make sure they're all safe because he cares about each one of us. Candle of faith, candle of faith, candle of faith is Let you and Jesus, we are your children, we are your children Make every step with you And faith with hope and love We learn, we believe, we witness in Jesus Hello everyone, welcome back to another class of Catechism. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, as today we will be covering Lesson 10, Jesus Who Triumphed Over Death. From our little books, before we start our session today, let us start off with a small opening prayer. Please close your eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Anne of the Holy Spirit, we come to you today asking for your blessing and help as we are gathered. We pray for your guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with the spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask that we challenge each other to reach higher and further to be the best we can be. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This lesson gives us the details of Jesus who triumphed over death and rose from the dead. What does the word triumph mean? It defines to achieve a victory or to be successful. But in our case, it means Jesus has succeeded against the power of sin and death. This lesson describes how the prophecies are fulfilled. Also, it explains how important the Easter season is to us. From the previous weeks, you have learned about Jesus' crucifixion. So today, we will be learning about the resurrection of Jesus. To start off, what does the word resurrection define? Resurrection means to come back to life. To begin, we will start with what had happened when Jesus resurrected. Jesus was arrested and found guilty of claiming to be a king. He was crucified between two thieves. After his death, he was buried in the tomb by Joseph of Arimathea. His body was covered with linen cloths and with some spices because it was a Jewish tradition. A large stone covered the entrance of the tomb, and the soldiers guarded the seal tomb, since Jesus, since Jesus had said that he shall rise on the third day. On the third day, a Sunday, Mary Magdalene and several other women went to the tomb at dawn to anoint the body of Jesus. An earthquake took place as an angel from heaven rolled back the stone. The guards shook in fear, seeing the angel, dressed in bright white and sitting on the stone. The angel announced to the women that Jesus, who was crucified, was no longer in the tomb. He is risen, just as he said. Then the angel instructed the women to inspect the tomb and look at the place he was laid. Next, the angel had told them to go infer, inform the disciples. With a mixture of fear and joy, they ran towards the disciples. When the women reached the disciples, they said this. The disciples ran back to the tomb and realized that the empty tomb became a proof for Jesus' resurrection. Jesus is the Son of God who had defeated death and rose in glory. Through his resurrection, 
Jesus manifested a glory that no one since creation can claim. Often in his teaching, Jesus used to speak about his resurrection through different prophecies. One example was when he entered a temple and saw there was money changers and people who sold cattle, sheep, dove, and other animals. Jesus made a whip of cords and drove them all out of the temple as he could not bear the pain of seeing his father's house made into a marketplace. When the Jews questioned about his authority to draw them all out, Jesus replied to them by saying this, I will destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. In this instance, Jesus was talking about the temple which represents his body resurrecting in three days. Another prophecy he was taught he taught was when some scribes and Pharisees asked Jesus for a sign. Jesus gave them the sign of prophet Jonah. I'm sure you're all are familiar with this prophecy. The mission that God gave Jonah, who is one of the Old Testament prophets, was to go to Nineveh and preach for its conversion. But Jonah disliked the idea and boarded a ship to Tharsis instead. The sea became very rough with a huge storm and strong waves. Realizing that Jonah was the cause of this, the sailors that was on board with Jonah threw Jonah overboard. As he was thrown into the water, a large whale swallowed him. After three days, the whale vomited Jonah on the shore of Nineveh as the Lord had commanded him in the first place. The sign that Jesus wanted to give the scribes and Pharisees was that Jesus would be inside the earth for three days as Jonah was inside the whale. This indicates the three days that Jesus was in the tomb. It also contains the hint that after the three days he shall rise. Now let's talk briefly about what happened after Jesus appears. Jesus appears several times after the resurrection. Jesus appeared to the women who ran to the disciples from the empty tomb and told them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Again, when Mary Magdalene was crying, Without recognizing that Jesus had risen from the dead, he appeared to her and asked, Women, why are you crying? First, Mary thought it was the gardener, but when he called her, she realized it was Jesus and called him Rabbanai, which means master in Hebrew. Jesus also appeared to his disciples twice when they were in the closed room in fear of the Jews and greeted them by saying, Peace be with you. Later, he also appeared to them again on the shore of Lake Tiberus. Thus, Jesus appeared to the people on many occasions for 40 days after the resurrection and taught them more about the kingdom of God. Thus, he gave enough proof that he resurrected from the dead and was alive. Moving on, we will talk about the Easter season. In the liturgical year, the fifth period is known, known as the Easter season. This lasts from Easter to the Feast of Pentecost. Easter Sunday is one of the most holy day of the year for us. It commemorates or remembers the resurrection of Jesus. During the Easter season, we praise Jesus who manifested the glory of God by defeating the death by his glorious resurrection. We meditate upon the resurrection of Jesus, the victory that he won over sin and death, and the new life he got because of his resurrection. During the Easter season, remembering the resurrection of Jesus is a way to renew our daily hope that we can have victory over sin and may be raised to live eternally in God's presence, just like Jesus did. 
The first Sunday after Easter is known as the New Sunday, or Pudunayar. This is called the New Sunday because this is the day on which we experience the new Christian life. This is also the day on which we remember the appearance of risen Jesus to St. Thomas. Likewise, the resurrection sealed the Lord's promise that all those who believe in him will experience resurrection of life and share in eternity. Let us all try to lead a new life, not to sin and to be reborn again with Jesus who conquered death and sin by his resurrection. May we try to avoid all occasions to sin and remain close to Jesus and his presence. Let us end off our session today with a closing prayer. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord God, we pray, praise you, for in your hidden are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. O oh Jesus, show us the way, the truth, and the life. Lead us as we rejoice in your resurrection. From darkness to light, from untruth to truth, from death to life. We thank you for giving us your wisdom to enlighten us. Thank you for giving us an understanding of the materials we discussed today. Thank you for guiding us in the areas where we need to take action. We ask that you continue to direct us as we follow throughout with our decisions we make ahead. May your wisdom continue to guide us as we go our separate ways. Amen. Thank you all for joining in today and I hope to see you all next class.